Okay, everybody, let's welcome two members of Range Goats DC. We are joined by our captain, Bubba Watson, and we are joined by a new member of Range Goats DC, Matt Wolf. Welcome, guys. I am looking at this leaderboard, and all I see is pink. You got all four of you guys are in the in the top seven. So, Bubba. We need to count four balls today. <laughs> we switch it? Yeah, exactly. yeah, seriously. Tell us about, you know, what have you done as a captain in the off season and with the new guys to kind of create this amazing team dynamic to have this leaderboard? You know, it's funny. Um, everybody's excited. Everybody's excited to get back and play. It was a rough one for us at Mayakoba because it's just tough driving, right? I, I even played with Walker today and talked about it. Even though he played phenomenal and won last week, he even talked about how difficult it is. And so... One fairway last week was eight yards, I think 13, the par five. Eight yards wide. Like, I don't know how to hit into that. And I didn't. I didn't in the trees. But, um, but no, it's, so we knew that going into that, that for our, our long-hitting team, um, it was going to be tough. It was going to be a grind. And um, coming here, getting here, we got here on Monday. We played a quick nine on Monday late in the day. Saw the ryegrass. We get excited and um, feel like we can play. And, and it shows. I mean, the guys, it's not like they played bad last week. It's just the golf course is really, really difficult last week. So it's good to see. And Matt, welcome to the Range Goats. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what your experience has been working with Cap and, and on this team so far this season. <laughs> just lie a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, having support has been, you know, <laughs> more than I could ask for. Um, and, you know, really just being around a, a good group of guys that, you know, care about you, want you to play well and, more than anything, just, you know, are out there regardless of what you shoot, good or bad, you know, you're going back, eating dinners, hanging out, and not talking about golf, really. So um, it kind of helps me just be in a better better frame of mind and mentally as well. But, uh, but yeah, I think, you know, echoing off what Bubba said, you know, last week it was first tournament of the year. I hadn't played since Miami last year. So, you know, kind of kicking some rust off. And, um, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a hard driving course and didn't really suit suit us too well, I don't think, but, um, you know, this course is a little bit more forgiving, but um, still got to hit your driver well, and, um, you know, it's only day one, so we're definitely looking to carry momentum into the next couple of days, but, uh, you know, I'd rather be, I'd, I'd want to be on the top of the leaderboard after day one. Do you? Yeah, no, day three. <laughs> day, three. <laughs> day three. Well, both. Now you're being just greedy. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> You're going to so pick you guys a day. Both shot five under 65 today. Wow, good playing, man. Yeah, tell, you us, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your rounds and your experience with this golf course. I'll start with you, Matt. Um, yeah, I really like the golf course. I think, you know, there's, there's OB on a few holes and there's some tight driving holes, but for the most part, it's just trees. And I felt like I'm really starting to hit my driver a lot better. So, um, you know, I just really gave myself a lot of looks and made sure to minimize mistakes. I think um, I thought. Honestly, people were going to tear this place up. Like, I thought we might see another 61-60. Um, scores were a touch higher than I thought, but it's a little harder to make putts um, than I envisioned. So um, I think I'm just going to keep on, you know, giving myself a lot of looks and, like I said, minimizing the mistakes. Um, I'm not going to change what I did today. So what about you, Bubba? Mr. Watson? Uh, let me tell you what I did today. Yeah, so please. the first hole, I hit this drive. And <laughs> so I missed two f – I, if I remember correctly, I missed two fairways. Um, Back-to-back -back holes, number three and number four. Hit lob wedge from both of those. Um, but I only missed the fairway by, I mean, less than 10 feet. We'll say five feet to just make me sound better. Um, and that was the only fairways I missed. And if I can hit my driver well like that, put it in play, and feel confident with it, um, I know that I'm going to have a, a pretty decent day um, and just make a few putts. And that's what I did today. It just kind of stayed steady. Uh, Three-putted the party hole. Got nervous. Um, and then... Um, I made birdie, so Six, we bragger. It's all good. So um, 16, I I tried to with the wind coming, kind of swirling there on 16. It was a tough hole. I blocked it into the bunker and didn't get up and down. So I made two bogeys on two par threes, but played really solid. And seeing the leaderboard birdie in the last hole 18 uh, to tie two of the guys, maybe we can play together tomorrow. Um, was awesome. It's awesome to see all the pink up there. Um, and, and so it was it was fun to see that going around the leaderboard and going around the whole course today. So you guys are both kind of checking the leaderboard, saw the pink. Does that give you extra motivation to play well while you're out there, Matt? It, it does for me. No, I'm not Matt, but I'm going to go. It does for me. It does for me for sure. I, 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 I get thrilled. If, they're, if I don't see pink, then it makes me fired up. And if I do see pink, it makes me fired up. Because you want to play better to get our team up there. And then if you see all the guys, you've got to play better so you're not, you're not losing at four under today. Matt, were you leaderboard watching today? Um, 
I, I try not to. I mean, I think a little bit. Um, I just... <laughs> you don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I promise. Um, yeah, I think a little bit. Um, I always kind of, like, glance at it and stuff. And to see... I think I saw all of us at one point were in the top ten. And I think we still are, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, to see all the, the pink up there and stuff, and I think it gives you a little extra motivation, too. You know, when, when you're playing for yourself, it's, you know, you, you're obviously playing as hard as you can and wanting to hit shots, but when you see your team playing well and you're playing well and you feel like you're, you know, can maybe take a little bit of, of that momentum and, you know, help the team more than yourself, I think um, it kind of gives you a little extra motivation, at least that's what I feel. So um, I'm, I'm really happy to, to be on the, the range goats and, um, you know, I think that contrary to the first event, I think we're, uh, we're looking, f looking forward to a good year and a fun year for sure. And Bubba, last one for me. I know the road to recovery uh, from your knee surgery has been a little bit challenging for you. You struggled a little bit last year. How exciting is it for you to be at the top of the leaderboard and in contention? Uh, it feels great. Um, you know, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to challenge. Um, I want to lift a trophy, right? Not only for the team, but also for me personally. Uh, selfish reasons that I want to prove to myself I can play golf um, at a high level still. And um, I knew it, talking to the doctors, consulting everybody, my, my therapist, um, Tyler, um, I knew it going into it. It was going to be a two-year process to get to 100% or 95%. Um, you know, we, we had to take out some of the meniscus, but um, we saved about 80%. So we knew it was coming. Um, we just had to keep grinding. And... Um, here we are, you know, last week, even though it was a tough course, I battled trying to get in there uh, up close to the leaderboard. Um, this week, starting out with day one, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the challenges all year long and trying to compete and, and have my name said more than once um, later in the week each <laughs> tournament. Well, we'll hope to see you back here at Flash then. <laughs> yes. You guys went to see the uh, Knights the other night. How important are kind of team outings like that in, in terms of kind of building the com camaraderie in the team? Very. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, going to games, hanging out. Like I said, after the round, we shared a villa in uh, Mayakoba, and uh, we were all, all four of us staying in the same spot. And it's just nice. It really did feel like college because, um, you know, I'm not that far, you know, removed from college. And, you know, after the round, regardless of good or bad, you know, you're going back, you're having, you're, you're hanging out with your roommate, you're hanging out with the team, you're going to dinners, and you're not talking about golf. No one, I mean, you, first off, no one wants to hear every single shot that you hit and every bad break or good break that you get. But more importantly, it's just, you know, having guys that have similar hobbies and interests. We all love sports and, um, you know, just, we just talk about whatever. And, you know, it's, it's just really nice to feel like you're kind of separated from golf because at these tournaments you can kind of get, you know, wrapped up in it all and, you know, how you play can affect you off the course as well. And so to be able to go off the course, like I said, regardless of good or bad and, you know, know the guys that know the guys are going to support you and you're going to be able to laugh and talk and, um, you know, kind of just hang out is, is it's, it's relaxing and refreshing. It's, an, it's new for me. Do you guys have other plans to, to do stuff this week? Uh, this week? Um, Hopefully lift the trophy. Um, you know, truthfully, during the photo shoot down in Miami, um, we went to the Dolphins game. We went to uh, the Heat game. And um, later in the year, we're planning on doing some more stuff in Miami. Um, you know, we stayed last week. We flew together. Um, went to the game. So we're, we're trying to do some more things that, that work out in our favor that we can do together. Um, first time I talked to, um, I think Matt was at dinner. When I told him the trade happened, um, he said he texted me and said, "What's going on?" And I and I called him right away. And the first thing I told him, I said, "Dude, I don't care anything about your golf. I don't care. I'm not going to teach you anything about golf. You've already learned it all. Um, that's up to you. All I care about you as a person. And um, you know, and I and I want the team to see that when we when we travel and we do things. I want to have fun. I mean, I don't want to just sit in a hotel room and." be bored or mad at my bad scores I want to get out there and just have fun with the guys and go watch some sports I mean that's what we do um, go do some fun things and um, so far it's worked out that we've been able to do some cool things and some fun things together Super Bowl on Sunday I my wife is is um, 25 years ago um, the final four at University of Georgia they made it to the final four so they're celebrating why did they pick Sunday of the Super Bowl I don't know but that's <laughs> So I'm 
I'm going straight to, when I leave here um, late or early, late Saturday or early Sunday, however you want to word it. I'm going straight to Athens so I can be there. I landed like eight in the morning so I can be there for the 12 o'clock game to support her and her old teammates, um, her old coach. Um, and then we'll still have time to stay in Athens and, uh, and watch some football. Yeah. And one last question for me. You, you talked a little bit about obviously all four of you guys are uh, – hit it great off the tee. Is there any type of internal competition in terms of driving distance? Do you guys ever have any fun? There's, fun? No, co- there's no competition. I'm the farthest by, by, a, by a lot. It He's old, is, man. It's I'm like half his age. It's 100%, <laughs> it's 100% true. Nobody's out driving him. And, um, and it's funny. Um, Sorry, Peter I'm, and I'm Thomas. Fourth. I'm fourth. <laughs> what are you going to do? I am fourth. I mean... Guys are longer than me. I, I can't help it. Um, my goal is to hit more fairways than them. He's Mr. Fairway in my phone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Over there. Anybody? Uh, Matt, you've had some really good success here at Shriners. You had a, some kind of phenomenal streak of under par rounds there. Is there something about coming to Las Vegas that kind of gets your juices flowing? Um, I do like it here. Um, I think that you know, the, the vibe is really good. I like the golf courses, the grass that we play off of here. It's really, really pure. Um, but, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything particular that I could put my finger on. I just think that, you know, I'm in a much better spot. And I guess it just so happens to be when I'm in Vegas, I, you know, I play well. But, uh, you know, I, I think I, the golf courses suit me kind of well. They're a little bit more forgiving off the tee. Um, you know, not so much like they're wide fairways, but there's not just – OB like last week and stuff or hazard so I um, feel like I can kind of be a little freer and let loose and stuff and uh, most of the golf courses here are you know ones that you can kind of take apart and go low on so um, I feel like that kind of adds into you know the the low scores and stuff but um, no maybe I'm just losing too much on the tables that my luck has to turn eventually <laughs> so when you guys saw Vegas on the schedule did you think you'd be teeing off when it was 41 degrees <laughs> No, <laughs> no. I, we were, we were complaining. We we're like, man, this stuff is so thick in Singapore. Like, there's no way we're gonna be wearing sweaters. And then we come here, and I'm like, gosh, this is nice. <laughs> but uh, no, no, we didn't expect it to be 41. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, I looked at the almanac. <laughs> well, how how does that temperature affect this it's course science. and this this? How does the temperature affect playing this course? Your ball doesn't go as far. Only three thirty. <laughs> um, yeah, I, you know, to be honest, I just think you're wrapped up a little bit more. But we got hand warmers, and you know, this gear keeps us really warm and stuff. The ball definitely doesn't go quite as far, um, but to be honest, that's that's pretty much it. You know, I think you just kind of have to play for it, and um, I think you know. But most of these guys out here, we we have so many. We have Trackmans and GC quads and all these that. They measure like the altitude and the temperature and tell you how far the ball's going. So, um, you know, most most of us are pretty dialed and we know exactly how far we're hitting it, depending or uh, regardless of like the temperature and the conditions and stuff. So, Great. yeah, Thanks. technology, man, science. Go goats. Good luck tomorrow, guys. We rooting Go for goats. you. Go goats. Go goats. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you guys very much.